So Disney just released the new Star Wars Rogue One trailer, and it looks fine. I mean, the second trailer was the one that really sold me on Rogue One. I'm not going to say I'm 100% sold. I'm going to go see it for the fact that it's, you know, Star Wars and there's this channel to think about. But what I mean by, like, really being sold on a movie is going out, pre-ordering a ticket, picking up a t-shirt, you know, maybe buying an action figure even though I'm 27 years old. Like, that's what I'm talking about, fully sold. This looks fine, as long as it's not too preachy. And it looks like it's going to be somewhat preachy, but at the same time more realistic than The Force Awakens. But let's be honest with ourselves, anything is more realistic than The Force Awakens. That's the preachiest piece of shit I've ever seen. Some cool things about this trailer, the giant statue of a Jedi looked like Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's nice to see more of the base on Yavin 4. I liked seeing Mon Mothma. She looks close enough to the real actor, and I think it's kind of cool that the main character's dad is the one responsible for the Death Star. Now, I only hope that she dies for this instead of him, because she's not just going to randomly go into the background, and they can't CGI her into the original trilogy, so it makes sense for all these characters just to die. Honestly, that's the only way I'm going to be really 100% into this movie. Um, speaking of original trilogy, it's really cool to see Darth Vader back. They did a much better job here than they did in Revenge of the Sith. He actually moves like the old Darth Vader, which is nice. The action looks great. ATSTs, whatever the generic Adat Walker is, the TIE Fighters, and the X-Wings look amazing. I know I'm in the minority here, but I would never mind if they were to go back one more time and alter the original trilogy and redo the X-Wing shots so they either all match or they're all back to the model. I prefer all new CGI because there's some old model shots that just don't work. But that's a time that's a topic for another video. Back to this, the stormtrooper battle looks cool on that uh, beach. Like I said, it's nice to see the X-wings back. That imperial droid looks pretty cool, and I'm genuinely interested to see the part where they infiltrate the imperial base because it's not the Death Star. We've all seen what the Death Star looks like on the inside. But the trailer really didn't show anything too groundbreaking in the realm of the story, which is fine. I mean, it's a trailer; it's only supposed to whet your appetite. And I think it did a good job with that. We'll know more about the movie the closer we get to the release date. And as always, you can come back to World Class Bullshitters to find out what we think. Especially me, the most opinionated man on the internet about Star Wars. I hate The Force Awakens, and you can go listen to my rant on the channel. We review, we released that last year. I recorded it minutes after leaving the theater. I fucking hate that movie. So, uh, Star Wars really needs to build itself back up in my eyes. I gave up on Star Wars when Episode One came out. And when I mean give up, I mean I stopped buying the toys and the merchandise and all that stuff. I was 10, I was in that prime Star Wars age, but I hated Episode 1, so I stopped with it. Then Episode 2 came out, it was just slightly better, and I didn't buy any of the merchandise. And Episode 3 came out, it was a lot better, but at that point I was 17, and I just wasn't buying that kind of merchandise anymore. So, that's neither here nor there. Thanks for listening to this trailer review. It's a little off the cuff, but, you know... I do have stuff to do today. So come back tonight for World Class Bullshitters, where we're going to review and discuss Disney remakes, the live-action ones, and why they're fucking retarded. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you later. Bye.